Oh, hey, it's your girl, Joy. Welcome to what I'm going to call something like a message from the CEO's desk or from the CEO's desk. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Something like that. Uh, and the reason is it's invest in yourself season. It's big up season. It's technology season. In this video, I'm going to show you all of the equipment upgrades that I have made recently to my creator setup. So you all know I do short form videography. That's what I would call it. I create short form content over 250 videos that have earned more than 30 million views in the last two years, which I'm really proud of. I'm also a professional voiceover artist, hence this microphone. So I'm going to talk about what was already in my setup and what I'm upgrading to. That sound good? Okay, let's do it. What was in my setup before? Microphone wise, I'm using and will continue to use an AKG C214 microphone. It's connected to a Focusrite 2 and 2 Scarlet. This is a glorious combination, really works for my kind of husky, silky voice. It picks me up beautifully and was recommended to me by a professional audio engineer. I will link the tripod that I'm using as well. It's a glorious one. It holds everything up well. I'm sorry, I don't know the brand of this one. Hold on. Okay, this is an on stage. It's an on stage tripod. <laughs> that holds my mic. So that's the AKG C214 setup. I record inside a vocal booth to go. I'll give you the contact and referral for that. Let them know Joy sent you. Um, that's an SPB33 double walled booth. I have toured people around that booth on my YouTube channel before and on my Instagram. So if you're really interested in voiceover, go in that direction. But this video is actually going to be more so for the general video and content creator. I'm going to talk about the different things I've invested in. Um, I'm using a MacBook Pro and will continue to. I had an old hard drive, bought a new hard drive. I've also going to link that in my Amazon wish list, and it's been performing beautifully. Just a cute little two terabyte ting, you know what I'm saying, to store those extra podcast episodes and files. Lighting. <laughs> get into lighting. So I'm actually funny. I'm hilarious. I'm a comedian. I ended up buying the same exact lights that I was using before. Reason is after two years of like really heavy use and my clumsiness, God help anything that can survive my clumsiness. One of the tripod little screws, little nozzles. I'm not a technician. One of the little nozzles came loose and reviewed to like refuse to screw together. Try saying that eight times fast. So what I did is I bought the exact same one. So I'm getting the Model 208 LED selfie ring light for live streaming because that's the one that I had before. Um, any other upgrades we're doing? Actually a ton. I was using a very basic USB microphone. There's been a recent battle against USB microphones. They're great for beginners, but not for experts. So I'm replacing my USB microphone. You'll see with what soon. I'm also replacing my webcam. Right now I'm using the Nexigo. So this camera is called Nexigo. Nexigo N950P. Okay, there we go. We're back. This camera is called an uh, Nexigo N950P14. It's got a bunch of numbers in it. Uh, but the Nexigo 4K streaming camera, it's been cool. I got no beef with Nexigo for real. I just want to continue to upgrade my setup. I think I love that the Nexigo has zoom. You're watching me on it right now. It's like super clear. Uh, my, oh, and you can change the levels on Nexigo. So watch this. You're like, Joy, this is an upgrade thing. Why are we talking about old stuff? Because I can. So look at that. I'm adjusting the brightness on the Nexigo. I'm adjusting the contrast. I want to drag it back a little bit so you can still see the color that I brought in here. You can adjust the saturation. Mm -hmm. You can make it nice and juicy. You can even increase the sharpness, right? To really like improve and enhance that 4k look i'm gonna come closer so you can see you can see my new fade that i did this morning in like five minutes so the next ego is yummy like i don't have major beef with it but i just wanted to try something that had a different tracking technology um and also color wise like when you compare the logitech brio which i didn't get but when you compare the logitech brio to the next ego n950p 4k webcam the brio has a bit of a warmer tone where the next ego i find is a bit colder even with those controls um but right now again like the next ego is as good as as you can make it. So if you are somebody who really likes playing with settings and lighting and things like that, then the Nexigo is for you. If you want something that you're just turning on and you just like the color that it is naturally, then I would recommend potentially a different camera. But the Nexigo has been wonderful to use. It'll be a great backup camera or second camera and it's highly manipulable. So I'm replacing that one. We're also replacing my microphone arm because the previous arm that I have, oh, y'all want to see it? I'm going to bring it over to you. It's, it's bad. I'm going to show you. This is the desk mic arm we've been using. Okay. I've been taping together the boom portion of it. I am ashamed. It's something that I could actually probably fix easily with a little screw. But as you can see, it's just like the very basic kind of arm. So again, not too much inherently wrong with it. It screws into my desk like this, you know, up or down. Uh, but I just wanted something new, something fresh. It's time to upgrade when you've been using the same equipment for like two plus years. When your account has grown correspondingly, it's time to, to shake things up. So we're going to shake it up. 
Okay, let's get to opening stuff. I have like maybe 15 minutes, maybe 15 minutes to open this stuff up. So let's do it. I want to begin with the Model 208 ring light because this is the light that I've been using. You like it? All right, so Model 208 LED selfie ring light for live stream. Shows you everything you can do with it on the back. I mean, duh. If y'all thought this was ASMR, mistaken. Okay, so inside of it, you're going to get a tripod. I'm, I'll show you, okay? Then I'm gonna have to readjust my lighting. But let me show you the tripod because right now it's holding up one of the lights. All right, simple tripod there. You can actually extend it. I think it reaches to about five feet. And then you get two ring lights. So let me show you one. All right, so here's one of the lights. So you get two of these with this ring light. That's why I particularly love it. Lighting is so nice and juicy and even when it's coming from two sides. Right now I've got natural light over there and then a key light here. Um, Check this out. So, that, so you're gonna screw that onto the little surfaces here and you got some here. So this can bend and stretch any way you want it. That's the way you need it, any way you want it. And I'll just show you real quick. <laughs> this is not the most efficient way to do this. I'm just trying to think of what is the most youtube -y way so that you're not like, she did it off screen, to show you how to screw this in. As you can see, it assembles really easily. Look at that, nice and tight. Oh, glorious. Okay, so you get one light on that side, one light on the other side, and then you screw this portion here into the tripod. Yeah, so when on you, it looks like this, and you'll have the two lights facing your direction, what I love about this light is that you can change the colors. You can make it uh, warm, cool, or kind of like a neutral white. So this is a great, great starter, ender, end all, be all <laughs> kind of light. Uh, you can adjust the mode also here with the remote. So you see mode on, off, and then up, down to increase the intensity of the light. Nice and yummy. You want to see what those colors look like? Let's play around. I'm going to do it with the light that's on me right now. So let's switch modes. This is the colder one. Oh, sorry. That was the neutral one. So warm, neutral, cold, or cool. It's whatever works for you, babes. All right. So again, what's inside that box? Oh, geez. Okay, there we go. What's inside that box is two by eight ring light retractable tripod, base of flexible goosenecks. That's the official term for that. A remote shutter. Oh, I didn't even show you the remote shutter. Here's your remote shutter. Not necessary for me for lights. Um, and then you get a little phone tripod as well. Yeah, we like that. You can hold your phone and stretch to any size phone. This piece right here is really important and you just pop it onto the gooseneck. I'll show you. This makes making TikToks and reels and things like that so easy. The middle gooseneck is not as bendable as the others, but you're just gonna take that phone holder and... <laughs> Why is this so hard for me to do? I know strong. Let's loosen it up a little bit by twisting. <laughs> All right, and we just popped it right on there. And we're gonna twist it back on. Look at that, cute. Okay, so now you see how the lights will go. Your phone pops into place here and it's just on your face and it's glorious. <laughs> Are we ready for the next upgrade? Are we like really ready? <laughs> This is a big boy. This is the Audio-Technica ATR2100X. It's a USB um, microphone, but it's not. Isn't that fun? So you can make it an XLR. Let's talk about the difference here. You're gonna see the different plug-in options that you have. USB-C, which is the one that's in like the new MacBook Pros. USB-A, that's that classic. No, no, classic. And then you have here the XLR option. So if you're somebody who has an amp, that's like the focus right two and two, then you can kind of upgrade the sound by doing XLR. There are a lot of details and instructions on the back, but it basically mentions that it's a streaming or podcast microphone, ideal for podcasting, dating unsettled, and live performance. It's got two outputs uh, for your USB devices. It can connect to speakers, et cetera, et cetera. So I, I'm obsessed with the possibilities of this. In the past, I've had like this AKG C214, either the XLR mic or the USB mic. And the fact that this does both warms my soul. It makes me very happy. So if I want it to be simple and plug in, then I'll just go ahead and use USB. If I want to step it up, XLR. Let's open up Audio Technica, shall we? I want to see what this feels like. This was a highly recommended mic by other YouTubers. I'm going to put the link to the ATR2100 inside my Amazon storefront. And let's turn down the lights a little bit because it's getting, it's getting hot in here. Hello. Oh, Let's go down, 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 down. Oh yeah. Don't you like that better? Uh, it's a little colder. Kind of like it. I like it. Okay. We're opening up. We're unboxing the ATR2100. Oh, I'm so bad with boxes and instructions, y'all. I'm not the best unboxing person. 
because I open it too real. I don't open it cute. I don't open it the way that you want. I open it the way I want. Oh yeah, see that? Don't don't call me. Don't call me. Don't call me for cuteness. Call me for. Call me for real. I open boxes like a real human being. See, I've already torn something. That's I open things real. Ooh, check that out. Okay. I'm gonna do me now. So here's the mic. Lipstick on the mic. This is the mic. We have here one tripod. I know, I know that's not the tripod. No, it's not like that, but it's eventually gonna look something like this. Let's keep going. All right, all right. And the box full of instructions that we do not need. <laughs> Nobody reads those, especially not me. I like to just open things and figure it out. It just feels more human. So let me show you what I'm doing. Uh, we're gonna slide the mic in here. Mic etiquette and things like that, not the girl for you. You know, you want it to be proper. You want it to be, I'm not the girl. So we're gonna slide it just like that, leaving the buttons exposed. And then I believe that this is the piece that we're gonna screw, yeah, onto the tripod. Super easy assembly when you're me. <laughs> Okay, this is an interesting style of tripod. I feel like I'm about to break it. Why? Why do I feel like that? Let's loosen her up. She feels tight and not in a good way. Let's open up those lips. You're not gonna catch me about to say that. I was about to say something crazy. Uh, let us loosen the tripod by twisting and see if that gives us any more give. That gives me the most give. I literally feel like I'm about to snap it though, y'all. Why? Okay, so I may not be the genius uh, needed or necessary to get this open very smoothly, but you can see the inputs in the back with the USB-C to USB-C connection. So once I figure out the very simple tripod that is in front of me, this should be a really easy use. So I'm already excited. I don't even, we don't even need to test it. Oh my, See, this is what happens when your lights aren't screwed up. Ugh, God. You want to know what being a creator is really like? It's having your strap showing. It's moments like that, okay? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, so ATR 2100X, we're happy about it. We like our cables. It's a reputable mic. I'm sure it sounds great. We have from here, I think this is on stage. So the same people, the same people that make um, what's holding the C214, my tripod. Oh, they made me this little thing here. Okay, so we are covering our microphone just like that. Why? To stop plosives, plosives like those annoying sounds and we just want to open this baby up and slide it on okay we're sliding it on we're sliding it on we're sliding it on we're sliding it on oh yummy yeah that's good stuff huh little oddball fit but she works <laughs> i don't know why i expected it to be like slightly easier to apply but yeah that was really quick so microphone remember this is not replacing the akg c214 this is just so i can keep the akg c214 with the focus right inside the booth and then easily plug in the atr 2100x from audio technica into my computer for podcasting next quick and easy one this is a wireless microphone um it's made by may besta i will put the link this is a highly recommended one and why I'm excited about it is it will really help when I'm in public spaces and I want to do that kind of on the street interview recording that's becoming super trendy. All right, so it's got plug and play, 20 meters of accessible reception, precise radio, a clear timber, and it's highly sensitive. We want it to be highly sensitive. We want it to pick up things that are in front of it. So let me show you what the little packet looks like, just like this. This cable for charging or connection, a little extension connection, I believe. This here is a clip. So that's what's gonna clip the microphone. Oh, I'm the type of person to lose something like that. <laughs> I really hope I don't lose it. Here's the mic itself. How cute and small, right? And it's got like a little cover that I'm in instantly gonna peel off and mess up because that's me. So just imagine, imagine being on the street and just, hi, so what's your name? Da -da -da -da. Like that's so cute. I love it. I love how tiny it is. And I like that I can also like be around my house or in public. I'll probably use this outside more than inside, but this allows me to step away from the iPhone when I'm recording and still have really clear sound. Gotta keep remembering to look at you, not myself. I look good today though. All right, here we go. This is what's going into our iPhone. So moment of truth. Let us see if this connects through the phone case. Oh, it does. Beautiful. All right, there we go. So that's how, ignore me and my boyfriend, that's how it's gonna go inside your phone. So without reading any instructions, let's see if we can set that up. Let's try it. Hello, hello, I am testing with this new receptor receiver thing. Hello, hello. All right, let's listen back. Okay, so it silenced the sound. Were you silent or were you silenced? So that's unfortunately not playing back for me. Um, I am probably gonna have to look at instructions for this one. What a bummer. <laughs> 
And then we have a little clip here. Oh, there's a power button. Look at that, how cute. It's almost like they want you to turn it on. All right, when you press the power button, you get this small little green light. So let's try it again now. I like that. That way you don't accidentally record yourself talking smack. All right. Hi, we're going to test this new microphone. Hello, hello. Let's listen. New mic. Hi, we're going to test this new microphone. Hello, hello. I love it, y'all. That sounds really crispy and really clear. Yee. Okay, so I'm super happy about that wireless mic purchase. Let's turn the power off so we can charge this baby up later. Again, power button on the back. That was really simple, you know, for most people. Not not for me, because I'm I'm me. Let's hold the power button, and now the green light is stopped, so it's completely off. Lovely, great purchase. This is going to pay off in places like, I don't know, major amusement parks. What's next? We get to open so many fun things, you and I. I can't help it. We're going to we're gonna jump to the Insta360 link. Here we are. Uh, the reason we have the 360 link is so that I can continue to show you stuff like this, and that it's, like, closer and cleaner and clearer. This is an amazing box it's gonna give us the link a USB-C cable god I have a lot of those USB-C to USB-A adapter helpful a recognition marker so those are gonna help us understand where we are in the frame I believe a quick start guide and warranty cards you love a good warranty this has 4k video uh, sensors AI tracking and that's what the next ego doesn't have um, though love my next ego. whiteboard recognition which if I want to put a whiteboard back there, it would be able to recognize what I'm writing. Gesture control, so you can tell it things like zoom in, zoom out. Privacy mode and noise canceling mic. So let's try the Insta360 link. Opening up this box. <gasps> this was the most expensive purchase at about $300 roughly. I had a little gift card. All right, so you get this adorable little thing with the gimbal. So cute. Uh, we're going to take off the protectors on the side here. And just for now, I'm going to keep the protector that's on the camera since I'm touching it a lot. And it wants me to double tap to recenter the lens here, which is helpful. Whoa, but look how cute. Look at this little buddy. He feels like a little Wally. -E. Look how he's already moving the motion with the gimbal. I love that. Hate instructions. I just like opening boxes and figuring out what's inside. Oh, this like friendly frustration free packaging is my worst nightmare. <laughs> it's a me thing. It's not an Insta360 thing. I'm sure they're great. Every Everybody had nothing but excellent things to say about this webcam. All right, so we've got a USB-C to USB-C. I think that's the input that I would use most frequently for this guy. For this guy. Oh my gosh, look at me. See, directly touching the head. That's why That's why I kept the screen protector on. You know me, I'm clumsy. All right, uh, we want to open this up. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, so right here, we're gonna make that connection in the back, USB-C, and then eventually unravel this. I always dread unraveling the, the zip tie, the little tie cord thing. All right, so there we go. Uh, we can also flex this so we can put it on the computer and have it face any direction that we want. But remember that it has AI tracking. So this guy, no matter where you put it, should be able to find you, especially when it's plugged in. You can double tap and recenter the lens on yourself. Incredible. Uh, we're gonna plug this in and try it. Am I gonna read the instructions before I do so? Probably not. I'm gonna be honest, probably not. We have our USB-A to USB-C adapter. It's great. Uh, do I want to read compliance information in a quick start guide? You know, uh, you know, no, not now. <laughs> Maybe another time. Perhaps, perhaps another time. Cool. Let's, let's uh, stop everything we're doing and try the Insta360 link. Let's do that. All right. So I'm now joining you with the Insta360 link. Let's try. No, it doesn't know me. Hi. Yeah, it. it I didn't read the guide, so... <laughs> I won't be able to do the cool, fun stuff with it quite yet, but this is she. Oh, whoa, y'all. Look at that gimbal, though. Can we? I look like, oh, I look smooth as hell. I look smooth as hell. This is an extremely smooth thing. Now watch this, okay? Because you see, you see over here, it's a little unfocused, right? But I want it to be focused on me. Let's have it look for me by tapping twice. Oh, it's refocusing on this. <laughs> Focus on me. Hi, buddy. Oh, this is cute. Okay, let's get into my nose. Oh, look at my, oh my God. Look at my eyelashes right now. Oh. It's got a picture of baby me. Can it focus on that? <gasps> oh, that's impeccable. Okay, sorry. I know I was like yelling in your ear. Um, yeah, we're really happy about this. Really happy about this. Okay, and focus on me. So tapping twice does a really great job. Now with lighting, oh, with the right amount of lighting or increased lighting, I think that this is my preference. It's, it's beautiful. I need to learn it. It's smooth. Look at my gestures, but I have a lot to learn about it and light about it. So this is not perfect lighting. Don't, don't take this to be the best lighting I could ever do because it's a new camera but i will say already i'm impressed i can see why it's an almost 300 dollars camera there will be things to learn about it just like with any camera and the last thing i'm gonna show you on this camera is the upgraded arm 
Inno gear, microphone, scissor arm stand. So here's the pop filter. Wow, look at this, that's legitimate. Let's take a knife. Oh, I didn't need to cut it. It was already open, look at that. Low, low, low boom boom room. So this is what's going to secure it to my desk. Just look how much more solid the Inno gear is than the than the one I had before. Good God! You can just you can feel when something's quality. I dropped it. See that? That's going to be vital. Where do I put it? Let's find out. Look. All I know is. All I know is. I think this goes here. Yeah, this goes on here somehow. Once I take a breath and I'm not rushing into another meeting, this is gonna be beautiful and amazing. I am really happy. I do not invest in myself enough, period. I believe highly of myself. I'm confident in my skills and my abilities, in my potential, in my impact on other people, but I do not as a result of just kind of like, you know, my humble upbringing and um, just beliefs that I have about like limited resources. I do not spend enough on me and the things that matter to me. I always make do with what I have. I rarely step up and invest in what, you know, what could be possible. I just deal with like what is. So this is a mindset shift in abundance, in believing that I am worthy of upgrading my setup, of reaching new heights. And it's nerve wracking. I clearly don't like reading instructions. <laughs> but I do like experiencing, you know, upgrades and challenges and, you know, updated technology. So this is a journey. Thanks for being on it with me. And again, I'm going to link to everything in the bottom so y'all can give me that commission. If this crazy video convinced you in any way to buy any of these wonderful products, you're going to see my channel and you're going to see my account continue to be a testament and a proof point to everything that I've provided. Okay. Love y'all. Take care.